In aerospace and defense, winning the contract is just the beginning. The challenge then becomes delivering on those promises. How do you stay on target throughout a design and development effort that spans years and involves hundreds of people? It's a challenge I understand all too well because I managed our company's last program. Back then, getting ready for a quarterly review took a full month. Today, program reviews happen on a weekly basis, not quarterly. This week, I got a chance to see what it's like when status is based on real-time data and actual work delivered, not on out-of-date reports. So overall on weight, real-time calculated weight to target looks good, but we do have one outstanding risk to mitigate. Beth, I'll turn it over to you for an update. As you can see, starting on the dashboard, when we drill down in weights, Johnny, we see that the empennage has a red status associated with the structure. And when we drill all the way down, we see the problem is the ECU team has missed critical deadlines. Why are they missing their targets? This is the team that got pulled. Oh, right. The system flags missed deadlines immediately before they can impact other work streams. Vince, would you give us an update on the wing? Sure. Here's where we are with composites. We have finished the wing. All the panelization is done and the layups have been optimized. We've also completed all the analyses and programmed the NC machining. We're able to see the impact of changes immediately, so we're on schedule, even with 30% fewer resources. Real-time collaboration and simulation, from design to analysis to manufacturing. One more thing you need to know, functional DMU. Now we can go beyond digital mockups that show us how components fit together, to functional mockups that show how a design change in one component impacts the performance of the whole system. Where are we on the new cold air unit? As you'll see, Mike, simulating systems performance is keeping us honest through detailed design. Here, we were able to detect that we couldn't meet our goal for cabin altitude. Yes, that's right. So, we got an upgraded compressor design from our supplier and after we revised the installation and re-ran the simulations, we were able to assess that the overall system now checks out. We have validated the performance of the new installation against our key performance metrics. In this case, we verified weight, stress, power consumption, assembly, maintenance, and of course, cabin altitude performance. In conclusion, I'm glad to see our decision to invest in this technology is really paying off. It's week 78, we've just completed our weekly review, and our program is on target. Keep your program on schedule, on budget, and to specification with Co-Design to Target from Dassault Systems.